Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a cyclaholic. My drug of choice is bicycling. And I'm hooked on cycling and the art of cycling. There is art in cycling. There's art in the bicycle that you ride. There's art in the way that you ride that bicycle. And there's art in what you wear when you're riding that bicycle. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that there's an art to staying upright on that bicycle. But cycling is more than creativity. Cycling is a source of creativity. Einstein said that he developed a theory of re relativity while riding a bicycle. Now I'm no Einstein, but something happens to me when I'm on the bicycle. It's some kind of neural change. I enter this kind of twilight zone where I'm in a place, shadowy world outside my body. And it's, it's kind of weird. I know. I don't know if it's the hypnotic effect of the spinning wheels or it's the oxygen deprivation. <laughs> but something happens when I'm going from point A to point B. Maybe it's the endorphins. I don't know. At a certain heart rate, I'll lose track of where I am as I'm riding down the road. And that can be a little scary at times when I think about it, especially afterwards. <clears throat> but tight cycling takes me places other than where I'm going. For example, it can take me back to my childhood when I wanted one of these bicycles. I didn't get that bike. I got a rusty red facsimile of that bike with a, with a stripped rear axle bolt. <laughs> And despite the fact that that rear axle bolt caused my chain to fall off every time that I rode, I still fell in love with cycling. Or it might take me back to another time when I was in college and I discovered my passion for speed, not the drug. My buddies and I used to, used to ride and pretend we were these guys in this movie and we were just as dorky. <laughs> Other times, cycling might take me to a, to a problem-solving mode because when I'm on the bike, I can do parallel processing in my head. The straight line thinking that gets me down the road and then some free association. And ideas will start to tumble through my head like lettuce in a salad spinner. I might think about some 3D forms I want to explore later or I might think about a floor plan that I need to work out. Or I might come up with a, uh, an idea for a blog post on my website. Terry Saul is a Native American artist and she combines her ideas of cycling with her Native American heritage and she creates these fantastic images that you see behind me. Uh, but cycling is more than a fuel for creativity. For me it's also a social catalyst. In the summertime I'll pretend that I'm like these guys here and going up a mountain stage in the Tour de France or racing in a 40 mile an hour sprint. But those positive images do more for me than that. They help me in social situations to feel more comfortable both on and off the bike. And cycling can be more than just a social catalyst. It can be a catalyst for social responsibility. When you're out there riding in these pristine deserts, you might think harder about the uh, urban environment that we live in right now and how that affects these environments. And that rider, that trail rider out there might decide that indeed they want to become a commuter. And that commuter then might make more social connections out there as they ride. And that social connection is a reflection and an expression of their personalities as you see with this woman. Which brings me back to my point. Cycling is art. It exposes the vulnerability and beauty of, a, of the world to us in a way that the cocoon of a car cannot. Cycling puts you directly in contact with the world at large. It makes you connected directly to those people and to the world in the way that you can't be while you're riding in a car. Cycling connects you to the world. It's more than that. Cycling identifies the way that you fit into the world and how you cope with the world. And how you cope with the world is an expression of both your personality and your creativity. So, if you want to change the world a little bit, 
Get in there and get a bike, get on a bike, create some beauty, create some art. Thank you very much.